Hello everybody, how you doing? I hope everyone is safe and ready to learn something new. But first, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. Really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that bell notification so you know when my videos come out. Generally between three and four. Remember this is a family friendly channel so anyone can watch. And please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Remember, I'm having a promo right now that one random subscriber who comments will receive $30 when I, when I get the 300 subscribers. I'm at 211 now. I'd like to get the 300 by the end of the year, but if I don't, I don't. It's not uh, a must have. I'm just trying to get there. That's why I'm giving the incentive of the $30. Okay, so today is uh, Free Friday. I hope that everyone had a uh, uh, you know a blessed um, Thanksgiving yesterday, and everyone is is full, and everyone is uh, ready to learn something new, or maybe not. Maybe you're ready to go shopping. Okay, well that leads us into today's topic for Free Friday. We're talking about Black Friday. Okay, Black Friday will have cash registers ringing this November 26th. It's the day of the year when retailers finally get generating profit, thus going from being in the red to being in the black. Get out your pocketbook and prepare to shell out some cash because the Friday after Thanksgiving is the biggest shopping day of the year. Okay, so history of Black Friday. First, there's Thanksgiving, a day to be grateful for all life's blessings. The next day, Black Friday encourages you to give way to your greed by spending as much money as possible. Welcome to the official start of the holiday season. But the story of Black Friday is full of official and unofficial versions of its origins, starting with the name. Black Friday originally referred to September 24, 1869, when a scheme to manipulate America's gold markets backfired, resulting in numerous bankruptcies across the country. Even more troubling is the unsubstantial story that Southern black owners allegedly got a good deal if they bought slaves on the Friday after Thanksgiving. Black Friday indeed. But the story that's most well known about Black Friday is that retailers mark the day when filled coffers from holiday shoppers help businesses go from being in the red to in the black. Although popular, this story is also quite not quite accurate. So what's the actual story of Black Friday? We have to go to Philadelphia for that. Philadelphia cops complained about Black Friday when they were stuck working off days and overtime the day after Thanksgiving. Packed downtown streets with hordes of shoppers, tourists and fans in town for the next day's Army-Navy game meant that Black Friday was a haven for shoplifters as well as a crowd controlling nightmare for the police. Unfortunately, the idea of Black Friday was also a retailer's headache did not entice Philly shoppers. By 1961, Philadelphia retailers decided if you can't beat them, join them, turning a negative into a positive by way of reinvention. In the, 18, in the 1980s, Black Friday became synonymous as a day for big deals in national retail. Today, Black Friday invites you to shop till you drop for the best bargains of the year. So here's the Black Friday timeline. So 1869, Black Friday is coined. 2017, Amazon crushes competitors. Amazon takes in a whopping 45.1% of all online shop sales, which is three times more than Walmart. Okay. Uh, 2018 top Black Friday destinations, Amazon and Walmart were the places to grab the best Black Friday deals. 2019 big predictions for Thanksgiving, based on preliminary data provided by BlackFriday.com, 61% of the buying public was, will shop on Black Friday, shopped on Black Friday last year. Okay, so hopefully this Black Friday um, is better than or as good or better than Black Friday of last year. I do encourage you to shop small and you know help out some of the um, smaller establishments that uh, you know that didn't do well during the pandemic. 
remember, this ch the purpose of this church is to help people out, you know, and teach them something new. Okay. Again, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. Really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that bell notification so you know my videos come out. Like I said, generally between three and four. And please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Remember, by subscribing to my channel, you will be entered into a drawing to win $30 when I reach 300 subscribers. I'd like to get there by the end of the year, but if it doesn't happen, that's okay. But the incentive is there. Stay safe, uh, and I will see you soon.